All right, so today we're going to take a look at related angles. And you may have seen related angles 0 to 180 degrees or 0 to 360. So today we're going to talk about related angles 0 to 360. What are related angles? Why are they called related? Well, a related angle really means that angles that have sort of the same characteristics. So at the end of this lesson, hopefully you're able to pick out those characteristics. Definition. Reference angle, we call this theta r. The reference angle theta r is an acute angle formed between the terminal arm of theta and the closest x-axis. It should say the closest. Now, that's not really critical. Most people don't interpret it that incorrectly. Another way to think of a reference angle is the distance between the terminal arm and the closest x-axis. So let us consider four angles. The four angles that I wish to consider are 30, 150, and 210 degrees. So I'm just going to draw out 30 degrees here. There's 30. And how far is 30 degrees away from the x-axis? Well, 30 degrees from the closest x-axis, that's kind of a simple question. It's really 30 degrees. This would be known as my reference angle. Now consider the following four angles. I don't know why I'm doing four. I'm sure I do. But anyways, this would look like 150 degrees here. If I ask myself how far away from the closest x-axis, well, this is what 150 degrees is, but the reference angle to that, ooh, it's not 50 degrees, my apologies, it's 30 degrees. Similarly, there's 100 or 210 degrees, that's what that looks like. And if I ask myself, how far is this away from the closest x-axis? Now, remember that this is 180 degrees. The horizontal is 180 degrees. So from 0 to 180 creates a flat line. However, if 210, that means that we go an additional 30 degrees. So we are 30 degrees away from the x-axis. Now, last but not least, too bad this didn't draw out, but anyways, 330 sort of looks like this, and it goes all the way around. Wow, that's incredible. That's what the angle 330 looks like, but how far is it away from the x-axis? Well, we know to go one full revolution around a circle is 360 degrees, right? So 330, well, we stopped short 30 degrees. So it creates a 30 degree angle. So let's look at this definition again. The reference angle theta r is the acute angle formed between the terminal arm of theta, the red one generally how I've drawn it in quadrant one, two, and three respectively, and the closest x-axis. Another way to think about the reference angle is the distance between the terminal arm and the closest x-axis. So I'm just going to drop this fancy, you probably are wondering what this crazy uh, red triangle is sticking out of nowhere. Well, let us suppose, and we'll see this later, I can prove it later, that we have a triangle with 30 degrees and uh, a hypotenuse is 1. It can be shown that the opposite side, 30 degrees, is 1 half and the adjacent side is root 3 over 2. So really, I can take this triangle, I can plop it into each one of these scenarios exactly what we've seen. Now, what do we notice? Now, sine, the height of my triangle, now I'm going to call it height, and really this side is going to be one half. This side is going to be length root 3 over 2. What can be shown, consider these trigonometric ratios. What is so special about these? Number one, they are related. How? Uh, let's just take a peek. Oh, there, there's the relation or the definition of a related angle. They have something in common. That is, they're all 30 degrees away from the x-axis. Now, you might have to trust me on this, 
Let's take a look at the sine, cosine, and tangent values of these related angles. Everything in quadrant one, sine, cosine, and po or tangent are positive. Might, what, might be what you expect. The tangent of 30 degrees is one half. Cosine is root three over two. The tangent is one over root three. Don't believe me, try it out. You can simply ask yourself and construct those values from this triangle that I showed you. But more interestingly, between the angles, the sine value stays the same. Since they're related, they're the same distance away from the x-axis, that is, they have the same reference angle. Also, they have the same sine value, except some are positive and some are negative. Another way maybe I could say that is that the sine values, the absolute, val the absolute value of the sines, well, those angles are the same. Same with cosine. I, I know that in quadrant one, x is positive, so the cosine is positive. Quadrant two, the cosine is negative. But let's look at the absolute value of these cosine values. They're all the same. The absolute value of cosine of any 30 degree family angle is going to be root 3 over 2. Same with the tangent. Tangent values are all the same. We just need to pick apart which one's positive, which one's negative. Well, fabulous. You may be a little bit lost because I just dropped a whole bunch of information on your lap and it is 12 uh, trigonometric ratios. What do I want you to walk away from this? Notice that these angles are all 30 degrees away. Notice these related angles, same characteristics, have the same sine value in absolute value. Have the same cosine value in absolute value. Have the same tangent value, absolute value. We just need to pick apart which one's positive, which one's negative. We're going to be building a mountain out of this small hill, I'm sure. Definition. Related angles are angles that are the same distance away from the x-axis. Some people might say, oh, they have the same reference angle. For any given angle from 0 to 360, there will be one related angle per quadrant. So, identify all related angles 0 to 360 that are related to so I know you don't have these beautiful circles on your page. You may want to add those beautiful circles. They help me pick apart. Now, if you notice, these circles have a cross between them. What it really represents is the unit circle who has center at the origin 0, 0. So I am just going to go way over here. I am going to write down what is, where is 97 degrees? 97 degrees is right up there. So I'm just going to write theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, theta 4. We are trying to find all reference angles in each of these quadrants. The first quadrant, now I could draw a triangle if you want, there it is, it really doesn't add too much, it confuses me more actually, I like that little tick mark. My related angle in quadrant 2 is 97, that's the one that we're given, wow that's easy. Allow me to ask you a question, how far is 97 degrees, right, how far is 97 degrees away from the closest x-axis. Well, the closest x-axis would be 180 degrees. So how far is 97 degrees away from 180 degrees? Well, I guess I need to add a certain amount. So if I just take 180 degrees and a minus 97 degrees, hopefully it is going to be 83 degrees. 
So what does that mean? It means that we're 83 degrees away from the x closest x-axis. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create all angles that are 83 degrees away from the x-axis, the closest x-axis, one per quadrant. So in quadrant one, this angle would be 83 degrees. Quadrant two, well, it would be 180 degrees minus 83, which incidentally is 97, the one we, that we had. Here's a key that you have, may have forgotten or it may have been overshadowed in the first lesson. If we go counterclockwise, we measure this as a positive angle. But as soon as we start going clockwise, it is considered a negative angle. So what is the quadrant three angle that's related? Well, it's going to be 180 plus another 83 degrees. So 180, that was in the positive direction, plus 83 degrees more in the positive direction. And I believe that's 263 degrees. Now, picture's kind of getting ugly with a lot of red and blue, so I'm going to switch to green. So I'm going to try to locate what my related angle is in quadrant four. Well, I don't know, but I'm going to go to the closest x-axis. Closest x-axis is this one right here to my quadrant four solution. And oh, I went too far, right? I went all the way to 360. What do I have to do? I have to go in the opposite direction, which is the negative direction. How far? 83 degrees. Um, I don't know about you, my brain's sort of tapping out right about now. Um, so 360 minus 83 is, I believe, 277 degrees. So those are my related angles to 97. So just to summarize, what did I do here? I was asked for the related angles. So we are going to build this up. First thing, I need to establish how far away from the closest x-axis I am when I'm given an angle. Once I establish that, I create all related angles based off of that. Let us move on to the second example. All right. Here's my second angle. I begin with this unit circle type deal, this picture. And 131 degrees is, I'm not too sure where, but I know it's in quadrant number two somewhere. I'm going to plop it down right in the middle. Um, so I know that I'm trying to find my theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, and theta 4, my related angles. And since 131 is in quadrant 2, that would be my related angle in this family. I ask myself, how far away am I from the x-axis? Well, and here's 131. So if I go 180, subtract 131, that'll give me this part that's remaining here, right? That'll give me the, the distance away from the x-axis. So my related angle, or my reference angle theta r, the distance away from the x-axis, by the way, I rarely use a reference angle. It's, it's just a clumsy concept. I find anyways it's nine or 49 degrees I believe so how far am, am I away from the x-axis I'm 49 degrees so therefore my theta 1 is going to be 49 degrees that's the angle that is 49 degrees my theta 3 is going to be 180 plus 49 180 plus 49 so that would be 229, right? 180 plus 49. My angle four, or quadrant four angle, is going to be, whoa, 360. 
minus 49. I wish there, my handwriting was neater with this tool, but I apologize. So what I'm left with, I believe, is 311 degrees. So those are my angles. So try out the next couple of examples and press pause. I'll reveal the third related angle family and the solutions to that. And after that, I'll work on the last one. So very quickly, I can settle up, um, answer the question, how far is 266 degrees away from the closest x-axis? Recognize the closest x-axis is still 180. And that will be the case if you're dealing with angles in quadrant one, or sorry, quadrant two and quadrant uh, three. So I am 86 degrees away from the x-axis here. So now this is all good. So theta three, I know that my related angle is uh, 266 degrees. My theta one angle, well, the only angle that is 86 degrees away from the closest x-axis is 86 degrees. Uh, quadrant two, now this is where it gets tricky because it is 180 in the positive direction minus 86 away in that direction. So 180 minus 86 yields me with 90, oh, sorry, gotta switch colors because it's all starting to look the same, 94 degrees. And my theta four is going to be, well, 360 minus 86 degrees, and we're gonna end up right over there and it's 274 degrees. Now, with this example, what this example illustrates to many students is that there is symmetry about the x-axis, right? We're all the same distance away from the x-axis, the closest x-axis, but we're also the, the same distance away from the closest y-axis. So sometimes it's easier to think about, oh, how far am I away from the y-axis, especially this question. But I implore you not to do that. Not until you're much, much more skilled into the last part of the unit. Anyways, those are my solutions. Let's try the last example. To help me with the picture, I'm just gonna draw uh, 351 degrees. 351 degrees is fairly close to 360. Uh, so it's fairly close to the x-axis. So my related angles also have to be the same distance away from the x-axis. So they're relatively close. Now, if I ask you how far is 351 degrees away from the x-axis, you would say, well, if I only go nine degrees more, I'm at 360. So, or we could construct this formula. Now, I would almost rather students use their head and use mental math because that's when things become much, much more transparent. So, for example, I know that my related angle in quadrant four is 351 because that was given. Now, the quadrant number one angle, while only nine degrees is away we're only nine degrees away from the positive x-axis. For the quadrant two solution, we are going to be, think of it, this is 180 minus nine. We are 171 degrees away, or that's my related angle in quadrant two. And my related angle in quadrant three is 180 plus nine, 189. So those are my four related angles to 351. Now notice how I just used mental math instead of a formula-based approach.